Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I hope you're having a great day today. I want to talk to you about something that is very important. I don't speak about it very often, perhaps I should, and that is about faithful attendance in church. Why is that important? Um, and I want to read a passage of scripture. It says, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Now, the, the, the point of this is, when you go to church, the church is not the building, the church is the people. <laughs> we are the church and we need each other. Uh, we need you and you need us. And together we can do a lot of things. If we're all splintered and, and don't see each other very often, we can't really be there for each other or help each other like we could if we see each other on a regular basis. You see, the reason I think going to church, we say going to church, is so important is because that's where we see our friends, our brothers, our sisters, it's really our family, the, the fellow believers. And when we don't go to attend church, <laughs> the, when we gather together, then we're not there for each other. Let's, let, let's take a look at this, what I just read again. It says, let's hold fast the confession of our hope. Notice it said the confession of our hope. We, we know that we confess by faith Jesus Christ. But this says the confession of our hope. It is easy in this life to become discouraged. And yet when we have one another to encourage one another, we can help each other by lifting each other up, reminding each other of the promises of God, just being there to comfort one another, to pray for one another, to help one another with practical things even, just to be a family. And when he says, uh, without wavering. In other words, we need to be there for each other on a regular basis so we can trust each other and when something comes up, we're there. We're not like uh, the guy that shows up once in a while to a family reunion and you never hear from him again for years and then once in a while they show up again. And it's awkward um, and you don't know if you can trust this person because they, they almost never show up. You can't count on them. And then it says, let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. One of the advantages of having a family is we can be there for each other. And when it says stimulate to love and good deeds, it means by being there for each other, we can encourage one another. We can say, hey, there's a need and uh, we need some help. And who's willing to help? And we step up and we help one another, whether it's transportation to the doctor, whether it's taking a meal when somebody's sick whether somebody's roof's leaking, we need to go fix it, whether it's just somebody's discouraged or somebody in their family died or got sick, and we go visit them and encourage them and just be there, sometimes just be there, the ministry of presence in their life. And then it says, uh, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some. I don't know what your habits are, but a lot of people have the habit of coming to church when they feel like it or we used to say like at Easter and Christmas, but the trouble is in between, you need us and we need you. Uh, we're all important to each other. When people don't come together, we're forsaking one another. We're not being faithful to one another. We're not there when other people need us. And uh, the other thing is I actually enjoy being together with my friends and the church family. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's encouraging. They're helpful to me. I hope that I'm helpful and encouraging to them. And he says, uh, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. You're probably aware that things in this country are not getting better or easier right now. It looks to me like there's more trouble having trouble getting jobs. There's more trouble having problems in families. Marriages are splitting apart. People are living together that aren't married, so forth and so on says to me the day when all this ends, wraps up, is coming closer and closer. When we see that and we see things getting harder and harder on one another, 
we need to be there for each other to encourage one another. You know, it wasn't too long ago a guy tried to break into my house. Thankfully, I heard him and he got arrested, but that's actually rare. And the lady across the street from me, she, uh, her home was bro broken into. I need to get over there and see her and encourage her and let her know I'm there. If she needs any help, call me. I can be there pretty quick. Um, we're getting into a time in our, in our nation today where if we're not there for each other, who will be? You know? So I encourage you to come and visit our church, but think of it not going to a religious service. You're coming to see your friends in the body of Christ, and you're there for them, and when you need them, they'll be there for you because they know you. Okay? God bless you. Hope you have a great day. See you Sunday.